Revenue Cat's job is to be the easiest way to add in-app purchases to your apps. And one of the ways we achieve that is by wrapping up all the complexity of in-app purchases across all platforms in a few basic pieces, entitlements, products, and offerings. Let's go through each one of these and see how they work together to make managing in-app purchases a breeze. For the sake of example, let's say you have a photo editing app for automatically adding costumes to your cat photos. Some set of costumes is free for all users, but to unlock all costumes, users can subscribe to a gold tier. And users who don't want to pay a subscription, you might offer a one-time lifetime purchase option. We'll call that Platinum. Because Platinum is a single purchase without recurring revenue, it may have a different set of features it unlocks versus gold. In this case, gold and Platinum are what we at RevenueCat call entitlements. An entitlement represents a level of access, features, or content that a user is entitled to. Most apps will have one to a couple entitlements at most. In our case, there's two, gold and platinum. Now, we haven't talked about in-app purchases at all yet, because entitlements just represent the features or content that an in-app purchase can unlock. This brings us to the next RevenueCat type, products. Products are the actual products that your user will be purchasing through the platform, such as Apple's App Store, Google Play Store, and Stripe. In our app, we might have a gold product that bills monthly, a gold product that bills annually with a discount, and then a one-time non-subscription product for lifetime platinum. Now we'll need to set all these products in App Store Connect for Apple, Google Play Billing for Google, and Stripe for the web. Now that we have all these products, you can see how checking for each one would start getting cumbersome in our code, especially as we add more and more products for experimenting. This is where entitlements come back into play. Now we can take our two entitlements, gold and platinum, and add each of our products inside of them, which you'll set up in RevenueCat's simple dashboard. Now we can really simplify our code. Throughout the app, when we have content accessible only to gold users, for example, all we have to ask is, are they entitled to gold? Rather than checking every possible product your app offers. So now we have our products set up in each store and mapped to RevenueCat entitlements to make it easier to check in our code. But there's one more RevenueCat concept that unlocks some really powerful features. Offerings. An offering is a collection of products that you offer to your customers on a paywall. The easiest way to think of an offering is that it pretty much maps directly to a single user facing paywall. An offering is basically a collection of products. So in our example, we might want an offering that contains a gold monthly, gold yearly, and platinum lifetime. Except a single offering represents all the different platforms. So we can't put Google Play Store or Stripe products directly in here. This is where the sneaky fourth RevenueCat object comes into play, packages. Packages are simply a group of equivalent products across the different stores. So the gold monthly package contains gold monthly for iOS, Android, and Stripe. And the gold annual package contains the gold annual for each platform, and so on. So now we can make an offering with the gold monthly package, gold annual package, and platinum lifetime package. But why? Well, now that Revenue contains a definition of your user-facing paywalls, you can define multiple of them within the RevenueCat dashboard and drive your in-app paywalls from the RevenueCat offerings. This allows you to change your paywalls from the back end for sales or, importantly, experiments. With no code changes required, you can set up another offering that removes the monthly options altogether or changes the prices of the products on offer. And then using RevenueCat's powerful experiments features, you can run A-B tests that will show you which offerings perform best across many different metrics. There's way more I could get into with experiments that I don't have time for here, but needless to say, this is an area where we're extremely excited and are continuing to make even better. So there you have it. Products are the individual SKUs configured in each platform store that users are actually purchasing. These products are added to RevenueCat entitlements that represent the features users are entitled to access. Equivalent products across different platforms are mapped together in RevenueCat packages. And then offerings define a selection of those packages that are offered to a user in your app's paywall that you can swap out in experiments using the RevenueCat dashboard. These simple concepts make wrangling in-app purchases a breeze and enable you to run experiments to help you optimize your business. For more details on all this and more, you can visit our outstanding documentation at RevenueCat.com.